But we want to work a lot more in shooting and finishing and, and, and work in the attacking third of the field. I thought we, we refused the challenge of shooting a lot, although the conditions was heavy. Like the players, the Jaguars' Tom Brass is not taking the game lightly, even though they had defeated Grenada during their tenure of playing undefeated. We know this team are quite a talented bunch. Uh, lots of skillful players. They play with a lot of grit and determination. Uh, we played them uh, two years ago in the digital uh, tournament. We beat them 1-0 in Curacao. And it's, it's, it's quite a competitive lot. Meanwhile, Shabazz has joined the players' call for the entire country to support the team. The last game at Blayman saw persons coming from all across Guyana to lend support. And with the game being held in Georgetown, where transportation is more accessible, a park venue is expected on Sunday. You know, and if the people, you know, could travel to Burbese, and the people in Burbese could have come out and, and give such wonderful support, we expect and we would like to see, you know, a mammoth crowd turn out because... Uh, this is one of the few occasions, again, we will get to see the Golden Jaguars in action here. And I think we want to maximize it. It's also an opportunity for the people to come together again and, 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 and to, to show the oneness of Guyana. The Golden Jaguars are hoping to make the journey to South Africa in 2010, like other countries worldwide, and they are determined to do Guyana proud.